A polling memo from Greenberg Quinlan Rosner Research and obtained by WUSA 9 gives an updated snapshot of the crowded Democratic gubernatorial field where the best man or woman wants to be the last person standing. In a survey of 807 Democratic voters in Maryland, the memo says state comptroller Peter Francho leads with 23 percent. Former Prince George's County Executive Rashawn Baker is in second with 15 percent. Former U.S. Secretary of Labor Tom Perez is in third with 11 percent, followed by Westmore with 10 percent, Doug Gensler with 5 percent and John King with 3 percent. We're quietly confident. We're not overconfident. We're working very hard. We're knocking on thousands of doors uh, every week. And it's that kind of door to door uh, campaigning that I think will prove us uh, prove successful for us. Our campaign is very strong in the Washington region. We're winning that that region, uh, Montgomery County, Prince George's County and the area and that we're we're doing well uh, across the state. This has been the fifth poll that show that we are in a very strong position to overtake that campaign. Data included in the memo also shows the candidates to date have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to woo voters, especially those that make up 25 percent of the electorate that's still undecided. Wes Moore is banking on his endorsement from Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks and new endorsement from Prince George's County State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy. I think it goes to show that the momentum that we have in Prince George's County, it is real. And this is not just about the momentum that we want to generate for a campaign. This is about what we're hoping to do with Prince George's County over the next eight years. This is going to be an exciting time for the region. The memo shows what many analysts confirm that the race remains close and with so many voters still undecided, it's really anyone's race. And with primary day now pushed back three weeks, the candidates have more time to make their case. Larry Miller, WUSA 9. And we should point out the pollster did not include John Barron, Doug Gansler, Ashwani Jane and Laura Newman, who are also running for governor.